This is going to be a winter like no other, Michael Schneider reports. It's starting to get cold outside. Are you ready for a winter that will be unlike any other? As I have been documenting on the Economic Collapse blog for months, the nightmarish global energy crisis that has erupted is not going to end anytime soon. In fact, it has the potential to get a whole lot worse in 2023 and beyond. Energy prices have already risen to absolutely absurd levels, and now winter is coming. Unfortunately, many forecasters are warning that this winter is going to be a doozy. Colder than normal temperatures are expected across much of the Northern Hemisphere, and if that actually happens, that would put a tremendous amount of strain on the system. For example, just look at what New England is potentially facing. According to the Wall Street Journal, residents of the six states that make up the region could actually experience rolling blackouts if this turns out to be a really cold winter. New England, which relies on natural gas imports to bridge winter supply gaps, is now competing with European countries for shipments of liquefied natural gas following Russia's halt of most pipeline gas to the continent. Severe cold spells in the Northeast could reduce the amount of gas available to generate electricity as more of it is burned to heat homes. The region's power grid operator, ISO New England Inc., has warned that an extremely cold winter could strain the reliability of the grid and potentially result in the need for rolling blackouts to keep electricity supply and demand in balance. The warning comes as executives and analysts predict power produ producers could have to pay as much as several times more than last year for gas deliveries if severe, severe weather creates urgent need for spot market purchases. New England will likely be directly competing with the European Union for dwindling supplies of natural gas this winter. Unfortunately, there is probably not going to be enough to go around. The Europeans have been urged to conserve energy for months, but much of the population is not heeding those warnings. As a result, many EU countries could be facing blackouts in the months ahead. The European Union could face blackouts this winter, as a continent, the continent faces an ongoing energy crisis amid, amid Russia's conflict with Ukraine, but Brussels is preparing for worst-case scenarios, according to EU Crisis Management Commissioner Janis Lunarczyk. Asked in an interview published Tuesday by Germany's R&D Media Network whether EU countries would need disaster relief due to the energy crisis, Lunarczyk responded, yes, that is quite possible. If the power is completely shut off, or you live for several hours on one of the coldest days of the year, what will you do? You might want to start thinking about that. In Ukraine, much of the country is without power right now. The Russians have started to systematically go after the nation's power grid, and at this point approximately 30% of all Ukraine power stations are not functioning. Blackouts have struck more than 1,000 towns and villages in Ukraine after a series of Russian events. The Kremlin um, has in the past fourth night after ordering drone strikes in Ukrainian cities. And Zelensky said 30% of Ukraine's power stations have been knocked out in the Blitz. Sections of Kiev left without water and power following blasts. The Russians can completely destroy the Ukrainian power grid if they wish to do so. And will they go that far? Needless to say, the weather is already starting to get really cold in some parts of Ukraine, and we're being warned that long-term lack of power could result in an unprecedented humanitarian crisis. WHO Regional Director for Europe, Hans Henry Klug, said at the media briefing that the organization is working to anticipate and prepare for the challenges of the approaching brutal winter and its humanitarian response to Russia. Now, Klug remarked that the risk of COVID-19, frostbite, hypothermia, pneumonia, stroke, heart attack will likely increase among Ukrainians living precariously, whether it's substandard shelters without access to heating or by regularly moving to different locations. I got the chills just reading those paragraphs. It's starting to get cold here in the United States as well. In fact, some cities near the Great Lakes just received more than a foot of snow. The cold front has been seen freeze alerts 
issued for more than 89 million Americans and states in this path in its path already offering rounds of snow rain and high speed winds in the Great Lakes more than 13 inches of snowfall recorded in cities near the lakes such as Ironwood and Marquette as well as up to four inches in nearby Minnesota and Wisconsin and we're being warned that the coldest air of the season is now hitting the south the coldest air of the season as far as has as so far has the south in its grip and near freezing temperatures could set new record lows across a wide swath of the region into midweek actual weather meteorologists have been tracking a powerful disturbance since last week as it swept out of canada and into the central and eastern united states while this storm continues to bring its first snowflakes of the season to parts of midwest and northeast Areas farther south will be in line for a dose of cold air that may not be uh, some may not be accustomed to handling so early in the season. It really feels like winter for tens of millions of Americans, but the official beginning of winter is still more than two months away. So this is not a good sign. For years I've been urging my readers to become less dependent on the power grid, but up to until now, being dependent on the power grid has not been a problem. However, now things are changing in a major way. Energy prices are absolutely skyrocketing and officials all over the globe are warning of blackouts this winter. I hope you got prepared ahead of time because this winter is going to be exceedingly challenging for millions upon millions of people. It is finally here, Michael's new book, Seven Year Apocalypse, now available paperback and Kindle on Amazon. This is by Michael Schneider. He says, my name is Michael. And my brand new book entitled Seven Year Apocalypse is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written five other books that are available on Amazon, including Lost Prophecies of the Future of America, The Beginning of the End, Get Prepared Now, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work I'm doing. And one way you can really help is by sending digital copies of gifts through Amazon to family and friends. Time is short and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are republished on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely, happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites. But I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media on Facebook and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is a great help. These are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you have not already done so, I strongly urge that you ask Jesus to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Schneider on the Economic Collapse blog. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.